for the sixth part uh, i'm discussing the parametric test t test and confidence intervals for this thing i'm taking the data set audit from the same package voltage Bull Trich. Okay, let's give the variable name phi from the data set audit. Okay, then we can take the mean, standard deviation, standard error, uh, the length of y, and so many things. So let's compute first mean. Average, I'm giving the variable name average of y. Okay, this is equal to the mean. And why I'm putting all this thing in a parenthesis? Because it will give you, it will show you the value. If I don't put in the parenthesis, it won't give the value. I have to write it again avgy and then enter. Okay, so this is then. The number of observations to check the number of observations in this variable. So, for this thing, the length command is there. So, there are 241 number of observations. Okay, then standard deviation. Okay, standard deviation is SD. Okay, then standard error. Okay, standard error is standard deviation divided by square root of n. So, SDY I have computed because divided by SQRT n. Okay, so this is standard error. Then, Q norm quantile at 97.5%. So, let's take the C. It is C. Q norm at 0 0.975. 1.96 as earlier I showed you. Now 95% confidence interval. It means at 5% probability of type 1 error or you can uh, yes 5% probability alpha is equal to 0 0.05. So how do we write 100 into 1 minus alpha. So if alpha is 0 0.05 then it is then it is 95% confidence interval. So how do we compute? We compute mean plus minus plus minus the C value multiplied by its standard error. So this plus the C value, this is Q norm. Okay. Multiplied by, I am writing as a vector minus SEY comma SEY because it will give you the lower and upper value simultaneously. Okay, let's see. So, this is the confidence interval lower limit and this is the upper limit because minus SEY at minus SEY it will give you the lower limit at plus SEY it will give you the upper limit of confidence interval. Now, if I have to compute the 99% confidence interval, then instead of this C, I will write Q norm 0.995. So, let's see. AVGY plus, instead of this C, I will write Q norm at, at 0 0.995. This is at 99% confidence interval. Multiplied by C, the same thing. Minus SEY, comma plus SEY. Standard error, it means. So, this is 99% confidence interval. Okay. Now, if I have to compute T statistic for the null hypothesis H0 such that mu is equal to 0. So, what is the formula for T statistic? For a single variable Y, for one variable or for one population, you can say the formula is T is equal to mu minus mu naught divided by standard error. So, if null hypothesis mu naught is equal to 0, then it would be mu upon, or sorry, x bar upon 
standard error. So it could be T is equal to how will we compute the mean that we have computed as AGV, AVGY divided by the standard error. Okay, so this is the T statistic. Okay, for the population we are taking as this variable Y. Okay, now how to compute the critical value to compare this calculated T value? Okay, at 41 number of observations. What would be the degrees of freedom? Degree of freedom would be this minus 1. Okay. So 240 degrees of freedom. How do we compute it? Suppose I am giving the variable name as alpha dot 1 dot tailed. Okay. So let's take the vector as C 0.1 comma 0 0.05 comma 0 0.025 comma 0 0.01 comma 0 0.005 comma 0 0.001 okay and this is at one tail and the two tailed alpha dot two dot tailed is equal to simply two into alpha dot two into alpha dot one dot tailed. Okay. Alpha dot one dot tailed. Okay. Now how do we compute it? We compute it as, suppose for this thing, I am giving CV, critical value. CV is equal to QT. I am using the command QT. QT. 1 minus alpha dot 1 dot tail comma degrees of freedom. How much? N minus 1. Okay. One more bracket I need. Okay. So this is right. And for two tailed, for two tailed, this multiplied by two. Maybe? Yes. So if I have to see the p value, what would be the p value? P value, how to compute the P value? How to compute the P value? P value is 2 into 1 minus PT, absolute value of T at N minus 1 degrees of freedom. Okay, so that will give you the P value for this T test. Okay, for and we can compute it for one tail test, left, left tail test and right tail test. When mu is less than mu naught and when mu is greater than mu naught. For both the tails, both the tail test, we can compute a p value probability. So, this we can also combine this alpha dot one dot tail and alpha dot two dot tail through C bind command. Okay.